Hello everyone, let's try to solve this question together. So here we have a newborn who was provided positive pressure ventilation in delivery room and is placed on uh, CPAP in the NICU. The chest tube was inserted for the left pneumothorax uh, as shown in the picture. Air is noted around the heart. Uh, serial heart rate, blood pressure and saturations are given below on this side. And uh, so what would be the next best step? So let's first look at the uh, uh, this picture this picture in a bigger format so here it is so the blood pressure is given this trend is the heart rate and this trend is the oxygen saturation so what do you guys think okay let's go back to the question again so the correct choice here is uh, no intervention so let's go one by one uh, urgent evacuation around the heart because the vital signs are okay urgent evacuation could be risky uh, so uh, it's not uh, clinically uh, showing as cardiac tamponade, so we can observe. Replacement of chest tube will not help really here because chest tube is already in good place. So that is out. No intervention, uh, this is a pneumomediastinum. No, this is not mediastinum because we can see, whenever you see air at the base of the heart, it's probably pneumopericardium. If you see air in this region, like a butterfly or something here, that is pneumomediastinum. So let's see what are the uh, references. So for the cardiac tamponade, always remember 3D. So the heart rate are distant, then uh, jugular vein is distended, and uh, the blood pressure is decreased. And this is known as a back triad. This is a very nice article. Uh, you guys can pull it online and uh, try to read it through. This describe the, uh, the presentation and uh, management of pneumopericardium. And they do talk about observatory approach uh, by not intervening uh, in cases where a uh, patient does not have cardiac tamponade. I hope this small pre presentation helps. Please do comment, and I look forward to hear from you. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye.